All right, this video video is about the uh, Bio BioCube protein skimmer. I just wanted to do it because uh, I only saw a couple out there, and uh, yeah, I just decided to make one of my own because I just got one tonight. I actually got it at about eight o'clock, and it is now 11:19, and I've only had to empty it uh, twice, and it was not even a quarter of the way full. But this is how much uh, protein I've gotten out of it so far. You can see it's nice and yellow, so. You just gotta wait till the till the foam actually become turns into a liquid. But I thought there was a certain depth that you had to set it at, but you don't as you can see it's only halfway. And it works great. Protein's there. Out of the tank. It's working. And it's really cool because uh if I can find it over here there's a uh there's a uh, valve that you can turn to adjust more bubbles and then also one way valve so it doesn't doesn't come back and that the uh, thing is just nice and quiet so yeah it uh, works good it's definitely uh, definitely worth the uh, forty dollars and it's just it's really nice and easy just take this off here Oops. Bad. You can see it, and then the lid just uh, pops off. You just dump it out. Works great, and then just comes back, sets right into place. Two suction cups, or you can. Uh, it's got a hanger. You can hang. I mean, it's for the it's for the bio cube, but you can use it in any tank. 14 to 29 gallons. This is actually 14 gallons to 10 gallon, and then. There's about four or five gallons in there, so it's a 14 gallon system. So yeah, works good. I suggest you uh, get it. I did try to make my own, but uh, I just I couldn't get to work, and I wasn't gonna mess with it. So yeah, this works really great. This little tiny thing. So I highly recommend it.